Good evening, Chris here from Prusen Studios. Today we're going to talk about the aluminum bottle airplane, which is one of my oldest creations. It's definitely an interesting one. Uh, those of you that follow my webpage know what I'm talking about. Basically, these are your uh, aluminum bottles. I was one of the first people to take the aluminum bottle and turn it into an airplane sculpture and uh, using all the parts of the bottle it takes about three bottles to actually make one airplane and it's a very time consuming process not necessarily drinking these things which would probably be a lot of fun but I don't drink alcohol uh, but making it there's definitely a lot of delicate work in it there's some parts of it that are proprietary that uh, we won't cover basically like I said it takes three bottles to make one aluminum bottle airplane so these are the three bottles right here these have already been cut up basically they have the tops and the bottoms cut off of them and that is so that it can be used this way like a piece of sheet metal so what we're gonna do is uh, take a look at how it's done you ready All right, so we are putting together some of the wings here today. You have your bottles already cut up. Inside of all the wings, basically a substructure, a piece of wood, a board, as you can see, it's got initials on it, got a name on it, got my name on it, the year it was made. These are actually inside of every airplane that I've ever made. Uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of about 500 of them so far, I believe. Uh, it's one of the ways that the planes can be authenticated. And certain members of my family know exactly how to take the wings off without causing any damage. So, let's get started. What we're going to do is basically position the aluminum bottle over the outside of the wood, just like so. And we're going to mash it down. What you want to pay special attention to is the position of the words, where the words are in relation to this. As you can see, I'm flattening that out. You see the words right there. So then we're going to mark it out here with our scissors and cut straight across. All right. We're going to open up this uh, aluminum bottle. When we go to open it up, you got to sit there and work it a little bit. Basically, it turns into a flat sheet of aluminum. Very workable, very pliable. So, in this case, we're making a right wing. No pun intended. So, what we'll do is measure out the position inside of the board here. And give it a good fold. When folding these things over, we're trying to create the shape of a wing just like that. See how that looks? So then we're going to trim it up. Straight across. All right. We take that out and we're going to do some cleaning. Basic wing shape. So what we're going to do is trim it up a little bit. We're going to make sure that the ends are even that it kind of has a rounded end to it. That way you don't leave any anything that'll poke or prod people. I'm gonna trim the sharp ends of it to make sure that that is off of there. Kind of square it up a little bit. There we go. So it looks just like that. Now, since this is gonna be the right wing, you can put the right wing on there already. The way that our wings are held on on our airplanes is with cleats. The cleats serve two purposes. They hold the wing on and they serve to hold the airplane up for display. So what we're gonna do is take a small scale nail, a brad. You got a pre-measured distance that's on the wing so that they line up. And we're going to tap it in there. If it bends over, don't worry about it. It's just a nail. Pull it out and drive on. That's what they made the next one for. So once it gets inside there, tap it all the way through. 
you want it to go completely through the wing like so. Once it's through the wing, you get your pliers, you fold it over. Now you want to make sure that your wing here is still in position. Push it as far rearward as it'll go. Again, the pre-measured distance. The standard is two of these brads through the wings to really help hold it on there. The second one can fold outward also and fold inward. Basically, that's what you're looking for. All right, so you can't have a right wing without having a left wing. Funny story I've heard about that in the past is you can talk all day long about left wing, right wing. They're all connected to the same bird. So, as for any conspiracy theorist out there. <laughs> anyway, you want to make sure that you stretch this skin the same way. And give it a good trim straight across. Just the same way. Because these wings have to line up. They have to look decent. I'm going to open up the aluminum bottle. Just like so. This one's got a little bit of a sharp edge, I think, when it was cutting. So I'm going to trim it up just to make it even now before I put it on there. That'll keep spurs from happening. All right. So, we try to measure about the same distance that we had on the other one, just like so. Make sure that it's pressed down flat. Bring it around. And you can line it up. What you want is it to be fairly close to the other wing. So the same measurements, the same size, the same fit because it helps when the wings match. All right, so we're gonna trim this one. Right straight across there. Kind of line them up, make sure that they fit. You look at the ends, they're pretty close. Let's get a little bit of a trim up. And the hardest part about this is just remembering which side goes up, which side goes down. It should be fairly close to about that that same size because you want them to match up really well. So, once you get these wings in place, I have to trim this one up a little bit more. If they get a little bit difficult with you, don't worry about it. Don't sweat it just aluminum it can definitely be trimmed all right make sure that we trim that off balance it out really well even closer. All right, you want to give it about a thumbs space in between the wings to make sure that they're going to line up just fine. And uh, we'll cover that in a few minutes to find out why we leave that thumb space in there. Let's go ahead and put a couple more tacks in. All right. Again, a pre-measured distance. Tap it through. Bring it around, fold it over. Make sure that it's seated really well. Same thing with the front. You want it about the same distance on both sides. Tap it in there. Bring it around. 
All right, once they're both inside there, then we need to trim off the excess board. That's this little piece that's down here at the end. That little piece of board right there. Make sure that we get that skimmed off. See how we got the name going the same direction? Bud Light, Bud Light. And that's so that when we put the body, the fuselage on this, that it all lines up and looks uniform. And next we're gonna make a, a, a tail wing. And the tail wing's fairly simple. Tail wing, you wanna make sure that you got a good piece of metal. As you can see, these are about printed the same way. Ultimately, when it comes down to it, we want it to look like this, where it's folded over. That's a fairly simple process. Uh, I'm going to need to get a board from the other room just to make sure that we have the proper fit. And keep these boards inside because it's raining outside all the time here and yes we're in Texas you'd think we live in Seattle as much as it rains here I mean good lord it rains here all the time good for the grass bad for the art that a trim on this we're gonna make sure that the uh, the aluminum is even and the way that you could do that inside here there's like little lines they're hard to see from where you're sitting at all these little stripes that are inside here run the length of the bottle up and down you want to make sure that you trim those as straight as you can once you get the piece of wood cut for the tail and you just start folding it fold Fold. and you want to get yourself a good uniform fold over that way it matches up as evenly as possible now on this one it's got a little bit of a lip on the edge so we're gonna trim it up keep it all nice and neat that way it's not like a razor blade okay I'm gonna give it a little haircut on the side and then we're going to make the curvature of the tail on each side. Okay. Once that's done, I'm going to put the uh, brads in it the same way as I did the wing. These brads are going to go in in the same style, the same fashion. And what they do is they hold on the tail string that actually holds the airplane up for display. Get that one in there. Flip it around. Get that second one in there. And a note on the beer cans, the beer bottles. The, the bottles that they're making nowadays, the more modern bottles, these are older bottles that I'm working with. By older, I mean a few years old. Some of the more modern bottles, that people are using nowadays, the ones that the companies are making are thin, like aluminum cans. These are the thick ones. These are much thicker, and you can feel the difference when you go to actually feel the, the bottle itself. It doesn't give very, very firm. It's not a lot of play in there like an aluminum can, so it's one of the things you should look for whenever you're building these things. So, now we've got a tail wing built. We have the cleats in it. We have a wing built. Have the cleats in that and eventually it's going to make us an airplane just like that so 
Thanks for watching, and we will be back at you with the next section.